In this video we're going to go through rating our photographs and if you've watched our previous video where we did the selections and the rejections I'm going to use that same folder of photographs to be able to identify the best photographs within that particular uh, shoot that I did. So let's go back to Plovers in the Park and here we can see the photographs. There's the selected photographs that we've got. Some as you can see here are unflagged and if you recall, I removed the photographs from my Snapper Photo Manager library of the rejected and out of focus photographs, saving precious uh, disk space, whether it be on your local hard drive or on an external drive. Right, so I'm going to lock this viewing pane by using the padlock in the Quick View menu. And this ensures that the photographs that I'm going to be working with only relate to this particular folder. And I'm going to click on the flagged photos to only show me the selected photographs that I had uh, and wish to rate. So by clicking on my spacebar, I'm able to, let's click on the first photograph, click on the spacebar, I'm now able to see the photograph. By clicking on the V key, the hotkey V for viewing, I'm able to see the full photograph without any of the menus around. So now with using the hotkeys of the 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 numeric keys, I'm able to rate my photograph. If I click 1, you'll see that the star 1 has appeared. If I click 2, it gives it a 2 star rating. To clear the star ratings, I click on the numeric 0 and you'll see that the photograph is now 0 rated. Okay, so let's go through these photographs and give them some rating. So this one, I see there's some grass in front of it, so I'm going to give this one a four star rating. Move to the next photograph, which using my right arrow key gives me that option. And there I can see it a little bit detailed. And I'm going to give this one a four star rating too. Move to the next one, a little unclear. So that one I'm going to give a one star rating. Move to the next one. Yeah, that one's not too bad. Maybe a three star rating. Let's go to that one. I quite enjoy that. There's a lot of grass around, but he's in his natural element. So let's give it a five star rating. Move to the next one. Very nice and clear. Also a five star rating. I like that one too. So let's give it a five star. That one's less clear and he's looking away. So let's give it a one star rating. That one nicely lit bit of grass in front, maybe some editing uh, is required on that one. So let's give it a three star rating. That one, yeah, a lot of grass around it, nicely lit, but also, okay, let's give it a three star rating. And let's give that one maybe a four. And get to that one, interesting sh shot there with a bit of grass in front of his beak. Uh, so let's give that a three, two. Right, and uh, I think this is our last photograph, so let's look at it. Legs are a bit cut off, so let's give it a one star rating. Now to go back to the photographs, remember press the space key, brings us back into the thumbnail view, and by pressing the V key, brings back our menus. So there's all of our menus. And now remember we are still in the locked, so we're still viewing only these photographs. I'm now able to, with this flag selection already ticked, I'm able to click on the five star in my quick view menu and immediately I'm able to see only the five star rated photographs. If I click on the four star, there are all the four star photos and there's the three star and two star if we, we didn't rate any two star and there's the one star photos. If I want to see them all again, just click on the current star that is highlighted and you see all your photographs again. Now similarly, if I unselect the show selected flagged photos, I see all of them and I click on the five star, it'll bring up the five star photos as well.
Thank you.